Hi everybody! This week I'm going to show you how to make this super easy spider craft for kids. A special shout out and thank you goes to my friend Diane for asking me to come up with a spider craft that she could do with the kids in her class. She's a teacher. I thought this spider would be easy enough for even small kids to do. And I thought that the bottom of the spider would be perfect to put spelling words. I will leave a list of the things that you will need down below. So let's get started. Let's get an empty egg container and cut one of the egg holders out to use for the body of the spider. Now cut the egg holder so that the edges are even on all sides. Use your hole punch and punch four holes on one of the sides. This will be where we will put the legs. On the opposite side, punch four more holes. Choose the side that you want for the back of the spider and punch one hole like this. We will use this for our hanging string. Now you should have two sides with four holes and the third side has one hole. We will use a black marker to color our spider. Make sure you get around the holes good. You can use paint for this part too, but I thought that the marker would be quicker and have less mess to clean up. Now cut your yarn or string to the length that you want your spider to hang. Then tie a simple knot at the end. This should keep the yarn from sliding out from under the tape. Push the yarn through the hole at the back of the spider and use a small piece of tape to tape it to the inside of the spider like this. We will use two black pipe cleaners for the legs of the spider. Fold the pipe cleaners in half and cut them in the middle. Put all four leg pieces together. Then find the center and twist all of the legs together about three or four times in the center. Now spread the legs apart. Carefully push each of the legs into the eight holes that you punched out on the body of the spider like this. Center the legs in the center of the spider body. Use your spider to size a piece of black construction paper and cut it for the bottom of the spider body. Get a small piece of tape and put it on the back side of the center of the spider legs like this. Set your piece of black paper on the tape and push it with your finger to be sure that the tape holds it in place. Then use your scissors to trim around the edges. Carefully bend the spider legs on each side of the spider like this. Now let's put the eyes on. I used a glue stick because it is less messy and super easy. Simply rub a little glue onto the back of each eye and stick it onto the spider. The glue works perfectly, just give it a little time to dry. Because I love little learning tools for kids, these spiders are the perfect tool to get the kids to look at their words. So I wrote some words on small pieces of paper and glued them to the bottom. Totally awesome! You can leave your cute little spider just the way he is, or you can give him a happy smiley mouth like I did. He is so adorable! I hope this craft inspires you to decorate your classroom, bedroom, or house with spiders too! And if you like this craft idea, hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends! Don't miss out on some of our other fall and Halloween decorations too! Like how to loom a ghost and make a cute ghost plaque like this one. How about making some haunting lanterns to add that spooky touch? Or learn how to sew a Nightmare Before Christmas sock doll. And these fabric apples will add an excellent fall look to any basket. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. If you want to share one of your most recent crafts, stop by our Facebook page. By sharing your craft, you may encourage others to be creative too. Here is what was shared with us this week. Mm -hmm. 
I really appreciate and love seeing all your crafts. Thank you for always sharing, being supportive, and inspiring me. I love you all, and I'll see you next week with another craft. Bye! Today, my plan is to work on my Elsa doll. For the button eyes, I thought I would use puffy paint. Well, you know how much I love puffy paint. Cute, doesn't she? Oh, I love her. A couple of weeks ago, I got bit by a spider that had crawled inside my jeans and bit me a bunch of times. I was standing there going, ouch, ouch, that hurts, that hurts. I feel like I got a pin in my pants. Whee! Oh, I'm so excited. This one says happy. This one says full. This one would say y'all if it was a spelling word, but it's not. Here comes the tree. There goes the tree. I got a mouth. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Y'all, that's cute.